Yanni here with your DMV Team Realty. We're going to continue with our 15 best kept secrets to buying a home with secret number three, and that is the secret sauce of bidding. Now, how you strategize to put your offer will certainly depend on the type of market you're in, meaning a buyer's market or a seller's market. But areas like ours in the DMV, the chances that you'll face off another bidder on a home is very high, regardless of the, the type of market. So how do you put together a strong bid without going way, way over your budget? Well, it's a combination of several things, but we're going to go over three important ones. Remember, money is still definitely very important to the seller, but the offer price is not the only way to go about that. First. Make sure you have a strong EMD or earnest money deposit, meaning go above the normal 1% and do 2 or 3%. You know, this shows the seller that you are definitely much more serious than the competition. Second, if you don't absolutely need it, don't ask for closing cost help. Buyers, especially first time home buyers, always think it's their right to get closing cost help from the seller when in reality that is so false. Yes, it does happen, but when you're bidding, every little penny you ask the seller to help you with can hurt you. And third, make sure you can close within 21 days or even shorter. And this comes down to your lender. So when you choose that mortgage lender, confirm they're able to close quickly. How fast you can close can be so pivotal because most sellers want to finalize the process and get their money as quick as possible. So when you're facing tough competition, make sure you remember secret number three, the secret sauce of bidding. Good luck.